In today's video, we're going to talk about a trade setup and a trigger because there's still some of you that don't know what a trigger is. It's basically the price action that tells you that it's worth placing a bet against one of the Fibonacci zones that I use, right? So in this example, um, I'm actually using a 10 minute chart and I never thought I would be setting up trades on a 10 minute chart of Amazon but it's been working so I'm just going to continue to work with it until it doesn't work anymore and I'll give you the example of what happened today and yeah it looks really great the only problem is personally I missed it myself but I know that there were quite a few of my traders that took this but it was a simple symmetry setup you know where you have to look at the overall pattern of the market on this 10 minute chart it's still bullish it's still higher highs and higher lows so rinse and repeat until it doesn't work anymore and that was you know setting up the pullback with um, some of these prior smaller swings and some of the prior larger swings what happened in this case was we pulled into or pulled back into the symmetry support that came in at this 1785 to 88 area and by the end of the session we had rallied 35.75 off of simple symmetry so where's the trigger entry well in this case let's see we made the low around 17.88 so let's say that you use something like a, a one minute chart and you'll see where we originally tested the support and where's the trigger after testing the support you basically look for a moving average crossover to the upside in this case I use the 834 EMA but I also like to see a um, taking out of a prior swing high which we saw both of these once you had seen the crossover and then you also took out a prior swing high now it, it was a little bit scary initially because you did have you know this move back towards the lows again and, and this one here but if you took the trade and then you place the stop underneath here you'd still be in the trade okay and that basically got us started there we knew that the initial upside target was going to be the 1272 extension and let's see I'll have to show you by showing all projections and that was um, let's see right around the 1807 area so you met that initial target then you came back and you met the second target and then you fell short of target number three but you know this is the way you want to do it just rinse and repeat until it doesn't work anymore and symmetry is a huge part of the setups that we run in the um, in the trading room every single day